hear more, listen to the podcast. Just search for Hancock and Kelly. Embattled St. Louis Prosecutor Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner is making national headlines for helping Lamar Johnson win his freedom nearly 30 years after he was wrongfully convicted of murder. Johnson and Gardner appeared on News Nation with Chris Cuomo. I want to see everything. I'm, unfortunately, I've never been outside of St. Louis, and so I've, I've talked about how I would like to see the ocean, how I would like to fly on a plane, uh, ride a train, uh, everything. As a prosecutor, I take an oath, and I believe the oath is to pursue justice, not merely convictions. Gardner takes issue with the concept of finality, under which prosecutors stand by a conviction even when overwhelming of evidence of innocence comes to light. U.S. Senator Eric Schmidt fought to uphold Johnson's conviction while he was the Attorney General of Missouri. He accused Gardner of concealing evidence in the case. Michael, a big victory for Kim Gardner here. Does it lessen her other troubles? No. Uh, and it's great. And this is, the, this is noble, the effort that she's put forward. And this is right. We've undone a wrong. I know that so many victims of crime, including myself, would like her to have the same energy in fighting crime in the city of St. Louis as she has in dealing with this. Unfortunately, Andy, the only time we ever get to see her answer any questions is when she's going on national TV to, to, ex to receive accolades as opposed to taking maybe some tough questions from folks like you about why we're not putting people in jail. Great work by Kim Gardner, but continuing to fail at her job. Doesn't Eric Schmidt have some questions to answer here? If Maybe. this man was innocent? Maybe. Uh, and the reason we have the Kim Gardners, one of the reasons we have the Kim Gardners is that at times, prosecutors overreach. They did in this case. There was some exonerating evidence that the prosecuting attorney at the time didn't allow into the trial. And it's, it's horrific any time an innocent person is put in prison. It's multiplied many times when it's for decades, as was this case. And the reason you have incompetent uh, <coughs> prosecutors like Kim Gardner who don't prosecute crime is because of those instances where the prosecuting uh, attorney abuses their power. It's very important to have justice and fairness. Missouri Republicans in Jefferson City and Washington are making transgender issues a top priority now after a whistleblower says the St. Louis Children's Hospital Center for Ch Transgender Kids has been going too far. Republicans in the Missouri legislature have proposed a ban on transition medications like puberty blockers and transition surgeries for children. Republican State Attorney General Andrew Bailey and U.S. Senator Josh Hawley are also investigating the center at Children's Hospital. A former worker there says that center often failed to make children and their parents fully aware of treatment and potential side effects. State lawmakers heard testimony from people who said medical professionals guided them toward a transition as teens that they no longer wanted now that they were adults, but they cannot reverse. Doctors who support transition care say it often keeps adolescents from taking their own lives. Missouri lawmakers are also considering don't say gay bills now for schools, a ban on transgender athletes and youth sports, and giving drag shows the same legal classification as strip clubs. John, any or all of these a good idea? Well, what was, what was going on at Washington University was wrong and scary. And the whistleblower, no conservative she, uh, she's very supportive of the LGBTQ agenda, but she noticed what was going on there was wrong. You don't take these vulnerable kids, and they're kids, uh, who are going through depression and who knows what all in their lives and start giving them gender uh, medications and reversal and without the parental notice. I mean, this is, or, or, or coercing the parents to agree to it. Uh, it's wrong and it needs to be regulated and I think the legislature's on the right track. Well, it needs to be investigated, but at the end of the day, these decisions should be left to doctors and not to Eric Schmidt and the attorney general who want to play politics with everything from COVID to, you know, suing China. We need to have doctors making these decisions. There's no doubt about it. What this whistleblower said is problematic. And WashU should be held accountable, and there needs to be some investigation. Whether or not a bunch of people in Jefferson City are the ones who are going to come up with how we're going to practice medicine going forward, these folks don't understand what life is like for families uh, that how, are dealing with well, this. Well, how about let's let the families rule, not let, put the doc, putting the doctors in charge is how we got in this mess. Let's get the families involved here. Still to come on Hancock and Kelly, our quote of the week comes from St. Louis Alderman on how to spend the more than $250 million from the NFL settlement.